everyone, welcome to today's video. This is our 34 week update video. I can't believe we have like five weeks and a few days left at this point right now when I'm filming. Filming. <laughs> As usual, just crazy. <laughs> I'm definitely so, so excited for him to be here, but at this point we're actually taking precautions to make sure he stays in. I looked up a list of things you can do to help labor, so I'm trying to do like the opposite of that because we don't have insurance right now. If you watched last week's video, you can know all about that. We've looked into a lot of options. If something does happen, we will be covered, which is amazing, so we do have like a backup. We did apply to OHP, but we did not get approved. I'm actually reapplying because there's a pregnancy portion and the first guy we talked to on the phone he just did not sound like he really enjoyed his job very much i don't think that he really was the most uh helpful for us in our situation and i called again when i heard about the specific pregnancy program and i got a woman this time which i was thankful for because i knew a woman would understand a bit more about the stressors of needing this and she definitely was super helpful she gave me a lot more options she told me to reapply and what to select and stuff so we're gonna try that so i'll get back to you guys on whether or not we get approved we're not confident that we will so we're pretty sure we're gonna go through cobra so if there is an emergency that happens we will be covered which is super Super encouraging but it will date back to September so it's gonna cost us about $2,800 just for the coverage and then we'll have the labor and delivery costs on top of that but in the long run it's nothing compared to what it would cost without insurance at all like it would be so expensive without insurance that's why I'm trying to take the precautions to make sure I don't go into labor early or anything not that there's any concern that we would I'll tell you guys about my appointment that I just had on Monday in a second but if he can hold out and wait until at least November 1st at 12.01 a.m. <laughs> then we'll have coverage through Tony's work and that'll save us a lot of money. Stay in here, little guy. <laughs> Anyways, our appointment on Monday went so good. She said the ultrasound looked amazing. I told you guys about the ultrasound last week and how everything went really good. She did mention again that he has that little, that little like flaw in his heart, which she said is not a big deal. So again, I'm like, why was the ultrasound such a big pressure if it wasn't that big of a deal? Oh well, it was still really fun to see him. I love the pictures. My husband put the pictures up on the fridge and that made me smile so big. We're both just so proud of him. He's just gonna be the cutest little squish. I'm so excited. But yeah, she said that I'm looking really good and I'm really lucky to have such a normal pregnancy. I'm super thankful that I don't have any back issues. My ribs still hurts, but not as often as it used to. Just so nice. I just realized that the other day. I was like, oh, that hasn't been bothering me as much as it has in the past months. Super weird. Lightning crotch though, today especially, <laughs> has been a problem and it's been an ongoing problem. I've talked about it before, but if you haven't heard of it, look it up and it'll give you a better description. But taking a bath helps so much. Just walking around or if I rub my tummy and kind of wake him up, that gets him to move. So that helps. There's definitely been a lot more growing pressure down there, which is definitely normal, especially with him being head down. Like the pressure is just going to continue. And she said, he's looking really perfect. At this point, we're just praying that everything continues as normal. No early labor, no issues with him. November 1st can come and then he can be early at that point. <laughs> I'm definitely ready for him to be here, but not yet. We have like three more weeks and then then it'll be good. I had my first baby shower this last Sunday and it was so special. The most amazing group of women was were there to celebrate with me, celebrate little Connor. It was just so much fun. I can't wait to show you guys baby showers. I have my last one coming up on Sunday. I'm really, really excited for that one. And then after that, it's kind of like game time. Cause then at that point I'm like, okay, I know everything that I have. I know everything that I'm gonna need. Let's get the nursery put together. Let's get the bags packed. Let's get, you know, all this stuff done because I've told you guys October 15th is my goal for when I want to have either everything situated or at least everything ordered so that way I can just relax the last month and not be stressing. I just want to have everything ready and situated so that way if anything happens I can have peace of mind. I'm going to do laundry pretty soon. I know some people wait up until like two weeks before, a week before, but that stresses me out to be completely honest. Like I don't want to have something happen and then be like, oh, we still have all this laundry to do when we get home. After going through labor and being exhausted and then knowing just that laundry, oh my gosh, laundry. So I just want to have it done so we can be prepared. So after the shower, I'm gonna go every through everything. I'm gonna wash all the newborn and zero to three month items. The rest I'm just gonna put in a bin so I can just wash those later. And so yeah, that's kind of my plan. My dad was here this weekend. My mom came down for the shower 
before my dad was with her so he and Tony painted the nursery which I can't wait to show you <laughs> I am so excited for the nursery reveal video. Oh my goodness, I went to Marshall's yesterday and picked out a couple more things. Tony's gonna build a couple shelves for me even. I wasn't planning on putting up shelves, but it was either that or blanket ladder and I think the shelves will look big, will look better. Sleeping this week, I have still been not sleeping with the body pillow or if you have a pregnancy pillow, kind of the same deal. I ditched that a couple weeks ago because it just was so uncomfortable. I'm so sore like right on the bikini line. Just from my body kind of getting ready and the pressure down there. So the effort of putting my leg around the pillow just was just was too much. <laughs> like I said, I got rid of that a while ago and I've actually been sleeping pretty well. Getting to sleep, like I've told you guys, has been a struggle, but taking baths, still been loving that massage gun that my dad gave me that helps so much with restless legs. Heartburn has been becoming a little bit more of an issue. I'm thankful that hasn't been a massive issue this whole pregnancy, but I take probably two or three tums a day, maybe maybe, depending on what I eat especially. So those are lifesavers. But once I fall asleep, I've actually been sleeping through the night. I can't believe it. I'll maybe wake up like once or twice. But the biggest mistake I've been doing, and I did this yesterday and today, and I'm kicking myself for it. So I always get up with Tony in the morning and I make his lunch before work and I send him off to work. That's just kind of always been like one of my wife goals that I've thought about ever since I was little is I want to be the one that can wake up and like make my husband husband lunch and like send him off to work and stuff like that even though I am not a morning person and it's so hard to get up he's really sweet and he always wakes me up like good morning sweetheart and he's very calm. I always wake up from a super deep sleep, so if someone wakes me up abruptly, then I'm just so grouchy. So he's always so, so sweet with me in the mornings. Super thankful for that. But after he leaves for work, I'm most of the time tempted to go back to sleep because I'm still so tired, you know? But the issue with that is then I end up feeling super groggy throughout the day and it's even harder for me to fall asleep at night. Earlier this week, I had appointments on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday so I didn't get to sleep in and I slept so much better I ended up falling asleep at like 9 30 10 o'clock or even sometimes 9 o'clock and that's like heavenly but the last two days I haven't had appointments or anywhere that I needed to be so I slept in and that's like been my biggest downfall the last couple days. I just have been so groggy and just lazy and potato feeling and I honestly don't think that it's been helpful to go back to sleep even though I'm super super tired. So you guys are gonna hold me accountable. <laughs> Next week I'm gonna report to you that I stayed awake and didn't go back to sleep all week long. So you guys can totally call me out on it if I don't reach that goal. Especially if you follow me on Instagram, you probably will know <laughs> earlier than this video if I actually am doing that or not because I usually post on my stories pretty frequently. So that's my biggest goal for next week is to not go back to sleep after Tony leaves to work. So I need to get my booty going, maybe just take a shower as soon as he leaves or something and wake me up, like do my makeup or something. So that way I'm not tempted to crawl back into bed. Maybe I'll just make the bed like as soon as I get up so then I won't get back in it because then I'll have to make the bed again and I don't want to have to do that. Oh, I did want to actually tell you guys, so with my doctor's appointment as well, she did tell me that starting with my next appointment, if I want to, I can get the um, pelvic exams every single time now. She said it's totally up to me. Um, I don't have to if I don't want to. And to me, I'm like, I'm like, okay, I don't really know. Because <laughs> that's her like putting her hand up in there to check how things are going, if, I, if he's thinning, if I'm in labor at all or anything like that. But I'm gonna call and find out if it costs extra. If it doesn't, I think I will probably have her do that just so we can be sure and kind of have more updates on how things are going. Kind of just be a little bit more prepared and have an understanding of the updates, I guess, on how my body's progressing. Hopefully every time she'll say like, okay, things look good, you're not in labor yet. Like that's what we would wanna hear, but I'm not sure. Mom's watching, did you guys do that? By the time she starts checking that, I think it'll be 36 weeks. She's also gonna be testing me for bacteria in my intestines, which means she said like that's not a pelvic exam They just kind of poke you in 
the two places down there <laughs> to find out whether or not you have this bacteria because if you do, then they need to give you antibiotics and you go into labor so you don't pass it on to baby because if you pass it on to baby, then he can get that. I think she said in his lungs or something and it can be a big issue. If you don't have it, obviously it's not a big deal, but they are gonna test for that next time. So that's gonna be fun. Sure, of course, I will give you guys updates on what we decide to do, like how the results come out and everything. I didn't know they had to do a test like that. I've never heard of that before, but you learn new stuff all the time. <laughs> Seriously, I have been constantly surprised by all the things that you learn during pregnancy. And it's like, oh, you need to do this. I'm like, what even is that? <laughs> well, that is everything for this week's as far as baby wise. So we're gonna move into the gift portion. As usual, I wanna point out and disclaimer that I'm not bragging about things that I'm getting. I'm just wanting to express my gratitude and say thank you to those of you who have sent us gifts. Seriously, so sweet and so thoughtful. And I also like to show you guys some of the things we get in case you haven't thought of that. That's how I learned about a lot of different things that I've realized we would need for baby is by watching videos like this and seeing what people got and I'm like, oh, that makes so much sense. Like That's so useful. The first items are from Michaela. This one especially is super, super, super useful. If you don't have this on your registry yet, definitely add it. It's going to be something that is super relieving from what I've heard anyways. Obviously, since it's my first pregnancy, I'm just taking the advice of all the friends and the people that I've watched and learned from. But this is the Freedom Mom Perennial Cool cooling pad liners. So it's a medicated pad. It has witch hazel in it and I think it has some other things in here too. You're going to be pretty sore down there. So these are going to be super nice just to give an extra cooling sensation and really help soothe things down there. I've heard that the witch hazel especially is supposed to really, really help. I'm super, super thankful for this. Thank you so much for this, Michaela. The other item Michaela gave us, which is actually two. There was two of these in the pack. This is a little pacifier holder and it does actually have like a little, uh, a little place where you can hook like a lanyard or something on it so that way you can easily grab it and it's not just gonna get lost in the diaper bag and then the last thing <laughs> is is these two bibs I'm gonna leave them in the plastic for now because I don't think we're gonna need these for a few months so I'm gonna save this in the plastic for right now but the set of green and blue my husband's favorite color is green and mine is blue so I love this especially I just think it's fun this next set of items is from one of my really good friends so there's quite a few but they're all amazing and so cute there's a little bit of clothes and then she gave me some really really handy things she bought us some sunscreen which obviously is something we won't need for a little bit but still so so handy and these kind of gifts are so amazing because this is just something that's so useful and you will need it we got some little zebra socks that have a little rattle in them you guys can hear that so he can put these on and then like shake his feet and that'll keep him entertained <laughs> oh another useful item oh my gosh this is a little healthcare kit so it's gonna be perfect for in the diaper bag we have a little like nose squeegee thing i am gonna get the nose frida as well because i've heard those are super super helpful but i'm not gonna take that everywhere with me that's probably something that will just stay at home so having something like this on the go will be so handy there's a thermometer nail clippers like a little comb it's just a perfect little kit and it's small and compact so everything fits right in here so it's gonna be perfect to go in the diaper bag oh my gosh then there's this oh my goodness this is a little drying rack which is definitely something that is needed so when you hand wash all the things like equipment from the pump bottles anything like that you need them to and you need them to air dry this is gonna be fantastic it actually comes apart and it's something that can be really easily washed. I'm just gonna stick mine in the dishwasher and sanitize this so that way it'll be all clean. But this is definitely something that's super handy. So this just sits on the countertop. Because of all these little spikes, it's gonna help prop up the bottles and everything so the moisture doesn't settle in there and it's gonna dry it a lot faster. <laughs> this is a really cute thing that she got. These little elephant slippers. They're little like knit booties. <laughs> adorable. <laughs> she also got us this little blanket set in green. Like I just said, green is my husband's favorite color, so <laughs> he was excited about this. And then there's another little blanket set with little polka dots right underneath. This is like one of my favorite blankets now. Oh my gosh, you guys know how much I love white. <laughs> so she got just this beautiful white, super soft, fluffy blanket. It has the like silk or I guess I think that's actually polyester. Yeah, so it has like the polyester on the side. It's the same brand as something else I'm going to show you it's the little giraffe brand does this not just look so soft and 
like cozy. I'm so excited to snuggle him up in this. I actually have an idea for some Christmas photos and this is gonna be perfect to have something for him to lay on. She said this was one of the most favorite things that she got me. <laughs> These, so cute. Isn't that just so cute? As soon as I saw this, I was like, oh yes. <laughs> I didn't know what he was gonna wear for my like Christmas photo shoot that I want to do, but this is perfect. I cannot wait. I love this so much. And she got us a couple other miscellaneous um, clothing items. Another thing I'm just a sucker for is things with like little, little ears. I think those are just so cute. The material inside is like a brown and white striped, which we actually got a onesie that will match this perfectly. And then she also got a little pair of sweatpants, which will be another thing that is super, super handy. So we got a bunch of like personalized onesies. You guys saw them in last week's video. So pants like this or even like little jeans or something will work so good with those outfits. This one we both got so excited over and my husband too, he was like, yeah, that's my little boy. It's a little camo vest. Super cute, it's not adorable. And then she got us a couple sleepers as well, which we actually don't have very many sleepers. So I might go out and get a couple more of them. These are so helpful for nighttime. Oh, this is what it looks like, by the way. She's like, I know you guys are really patriotic. So she wanted to get us this little red, white, and blue one. So there's red and blue stars on there. And then of course it's white. My husband was in the National Guard for six years. So we definitely are very patriotic people, but super cute. And then the bottom, just like a, like cinched, I guess. So it's gonna be super easy for for diaper changes at night, which is another reason why I wanna get a couple more of this style, just because I think it'll be so helpful for those late night feedings when I'm like zombie mode, you know? And then the last item, seriously, this is insane fabric. This is what it looks like, by the way. It's a little, it's from that same like little giraffe company, but the fabric is just, it's stretchy and so comfortable. I think this will fit him for quite a while, especially since there aren't like snaps or anything at the bottom, so he can just grow and still fit into this for a good while. So thank you so much, Maddie and Colton. Those gifts are so cute and so handy. So, so thankful for every single item we've received. I cannot stress that enough. I just think it's the nicest thing that you guys are helping us prepare so much for our baby. So let's do the bump update. I did also just post a picture on Instagram, my classic window silhouette picture that I've been doing consistently throughout. Same outfit, same spot, same hair, same like everything. <laughs> Try to do the same pose every time. It's hard to get it edited the same every single time just because the lighting's usually always different when I take them. But that is on my Instagram now if you would like to see like my progress picture of sorts. But we're going to do our own progress picture here on YouTube. I'm wearing one of my favorite sweatshirts that I've gotten recently. This I got in a small and I cannot believe it fits me. It says mama bear and it has this little heart. Super cute. I will link this in the description box. I cannot get enough of this. It's like thin material, but it's not super thin. It's just perfect. I don't overheat in this, which is so nice. I've been wearing a lot of my husband's sweatshirts, but sometimes I'll just get so hot in them. But my sweatshirts don't fit me, but I can't believe that this did. So this is my regular size and it does have some like pockets on the sides. Can't believe this fits me at like eight and a half months pregnant. <laughs> I'm just so shocked. He's feeling so big today. It's crazy, it's pretty soon I'll be rocking like this and I'll have a baby in my arms instead. So that's what my belly is looking like right now. Thank you guys so much for watching and following along on our journey as usual. It's so special to have you guys along with us. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on social media. And I hope you're having a fantastic day. I will see you next week in next week's update. And yeah, I will see you guys soon. Bye. Mwah.